it's Joe, and this is my next project. Well, this week you get to see the whole process. I like just creating, the whole creative process, and here's the way it happens. Start to finish, this is a one take video. We'll see how good this goes. This is a little hot rod we're building. It is a, I call it the Zen Coupe. It's not very coopy right now, but it will be. It is a 2002 Volkswagen Bug, turned around backwards. So it ends up gonna be a old time coupe with uh, suicide doors. And on the Volkswagen that it came off of, the hinge was way up here, had to cut that off. So we need a new hinge. And the plan has always been to use a chain. I saw one on a car, it's a pretty big chain. And won't that make a cool hinge? But it has problems. This pivot point up here has to point at that bottom hinge, has to be in line. This has to tilt. There's a lot that's going to go into making that into a door hinge. So we got to come up with a better plan. And here's the plan. I have over here a beer box hinge, a cooler, a freezer cooler hinge. I like these hinges. And you see them on the old fashioned beer coolers and stuff. I just really like them. So I'm gonna come up with something like that. And here's the whole process, the way it goes. First, we're gonna plug in the television. And this week we're running 007, James Bond, Dr. No, from Russia with Love, Goldfinger, Thunderball, Man with the Golden Gun, and Live and Let Die. Yep, the matador flies. Anyway, sometimes VCR, and sometimes not a VCR, sometimes a DVD. And then the process moves to just thinking about this beer box hinge. What is that gonna look like? And here's the way it happens for me. I don't know how it happens for you, but I start drawing little things. Draw oddball little hinges, that's some other stuff. How this thing is gonna swivel and what it's going to look like on the car. Just starting to get some first ideas. How's that going to fit? See the back of it. This is the driver's side. The back of it could be by the... The back of it here could be by the fender. And then I want a little accent on it. So it looks like I'm drawing some raised ribs. Two bolts raised rib. There's some more renderings of it. And more. It just goes on and on. And you can see here, I'm starting to draw, starting to draw these ribs. I've got a barrel, the actual hinge part, off of a car. And it is a Kia a Monte something lower door hinge. The back door, lower door hinge on the driver's side. That's uh, actually on both sides, but that's the barrel I'm using. I think it's forged to steel. Anyway, I start to draw it a little bigger, a little more life size, and it gets to looking a little bit better. But I figure out the car does not want me to have two bolts here. It wants all the bolts in a row. So back to the drawing board and I start wandering off topic. And you can see in these, I've drawn this thing with a little diamond point, several of them. You can see here's one here. And I start to draw it without the diamond point because as you can imagine, if you're gonna grind this piece out how will you grind this little inside corner? That is gonna be tough. So 
I start thinking about, can I do it? Will it be okay if I do it without the diamond point? And as I'm drawing along, I think, wow, that kind of looks like a knife. And I start wavering into making folding knife door hinges and uh, why, I don't know. Anyway, I get back on topic because I come up with the idea that, hold on, I was gonna show you something else. I come up with the idea that I like this point and I can grind this inside corner if I cut it off and make this a separate part from this. I'll make all the pieces and I will weld it back on. So, carry on. Drawing it a little further, a little further. And see, here's one, here's a rendition here to where the, this is actually two layers. It's gonna be made out of quarter inch thick plate and I'll weld this barrel in the center of it or I'll have it welded. Uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, and this inner part, the second layer is not ground the same profile as the outer. It's a different profile and it makes the style look different. So I start thinking about that and I'm drawing a more and more life size all the time. And I drew one with little cuts here and the second layer is cut out. And I drew one with larger cuts and I drew one with straight cuts. But in the end, I decided that this was gonna be the one. All the bolts are in a row. This is almost life-size, not quite life-size, but almost life-size. Where is it? Here it is. That one is, that one is life-size. And even though, even though you're drawing this on graph paper, you can measure, you can measure each little point, you can measure all these points, measure how far this is away from the center, how far that is, you can get all these in a row. However, there's an easier way, and I'm for that. So really, well, I got my pointer. All you have to draw is from here to here, this quarter, because the hinge is gonna fold right along this line here and the center line. So if I draw this corner, this quarter here, and I fold the paper like that and put it on a light table or hold it up against a window, you can draw the backside. They're both exactly the same. So you've got the front finished and you can also fold it this way. Hold it against your light table or your window, and you can draw it. It's the same both ways. And this bolt is the same distance from the center, and this one is. And there's a reason these bolts are so far back and not here. I'll have to show you on the car, but it, it was one of, the, uh, one of the challenges. So we have the original. This is what we wanted. And I made a bunch of copies of it, just photocopies. That is the way I do that. And I took the photocopies and I cut out each piece that I'm going to need. And this piece is the large lower back the large lower front, the pointy front. Here's the diamond tip, only need one. Here's the second layer is here. And here's the second layer of that. And I've got the, uh, I've got the centers of all these marked where I can center punch them after I get these things cut and drill them all in the right spot and anyway, you end up with these. And this is what we ended up with. We got the little diamond tip. We got the big 
big front piece. You got the big back piece, the second layer on the back, and the front layer on the front, the top layer on the front. That's all the pieces you need to make, five pieces, plus the hinge. And the hinge, I cut that hinge to pieces. This is, all it was was just the barrel on there. I cut everything off of it. And I took each one of these pieces and I cut them out a quarter inch plate like this. And it was rough like little pieces of pizza. Like this piece here would be almost the diamond tip. But they were that ugly. They were every bit that ugly. I put them on there and then you can see I sharpied them. I held them down with one finger and I sharpied them around the outside. And then I had a black mark on here. And I took them over to this sander here. And I think this is 60. This is 60 grit. And I could sand them until they were the correct profile. And the corners, I could sand the corners on this radius. And then what happens with this sander is you sand on it and it blows the sparks and stuff, mostly in the water, but sometimes down here too. And this thing's gonna get so hot you can't hold it. And so you have to swish it around in the water and you're back up here, you can sand it again. Is that light on? Yeah, okay. And you sand and sand and this is covered in water and that's covered in water. And of course you're wearing your hearing protection, eye protection and a mask. And it really doesn't take that long to do. So you've got all the pieces that are cut and they're sanded down to this. Then you tilt this and it'll tilt and push up against there. And then you can run them around there ever so slightly and get a little facet on the corner of them. You can get a little bit of a 45, which gives them that extra dimension on there. So now you have all the pieces cut. I've got the barrel cut out. And just like these pieces of metal, it looked kind of like this, you know, it's black got all this mill scale on and it just looks horrible. Let me see if I, I don't know if I need to take these, but I'm taking them anyway. And then we, what did I do? Then I soaked them in muriatic acid. Yeah. Regular old run of the mill muriatic acid, pour some in a plastic cup and uh, soaked them on there. Then I came over here. I had them drilled. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Like if I'm making this piece, I've got to make each, I've got to make two pieces for each one, one for that side and one for this side. So I have a hole and I bolted those two rough pieces together. And when I sanded them on that sander over there, I sanded them both the same. So I had two of these, two of those, two, two of everything. Then I take them back apart. They already had the holes in them. And I had these little screws and screwed them on here. Now, none of this is welded on here. They're soaked in muriatic acid. They're clean. They're really clean. And my, uh, my ace in the hole is I'm going to get Aaron, my business partner, to weld them. And he's just an excellent welder. He's the guy that made that sander over there. And I helped him make a couple of those sanders. Anyway, I'm gonna get him to weld them, but the difficulty is, the challenge is, on these hinges, this bottom hinge is tilted ever so slightly, it's hard to see. And this hinge has to be exactly above it. In other words, the hinge pins need to line up. And I went, I've got another Volkswagen outside, and I measured this from this green, from the paint, right around in here, that hinge was out this way, one inch and one sixteenth. And also, 
from this line right here, from the back of this door, up in here behind this piece of metal. One inch and one sixteenth back. Inch and a sixteenth back, inch and a sixteenth out. That's it. And right along this line, and it points right down to it. So I ground that barrel to sit there on its own at, well, it wouldn't sit there. It would, it would, it would point in the correct direction if you held it up there. So that's what happened on both sides. Now I've got, I've got the front lower part without the diamond tip fastened on here. I've got the back lower part on here fastened on here with the correct gap and I'm holding the barrel in there and I can tack it right there and I can tack this one right there. And naturally the tack makes a little hump. So the top plate that fits over there, I have to grind it out on the inside and grind this little tack way down where it fits perfectly where I can get Aaron to weld it. He will weld it if it fits well and it's clean. This hinge, it's the whole side of this, it doesn't look like it, but it's tilted in. It's tilted in just a little bit here. But the hinge has to sit flat here and sit flat here. You can't have one flat and the other one canted. Anyway, we did that, got them all tacked, brought them over to Aaron's. The next day, he comes back and <clears throat> this is what he brought me. I let him do whatever he wants. I don't tell him how to weld it or what I want to weld it with. He just, he, he knows more about that than I do. And I just let him have his way. There's no use, there's no use me telling him because he does a perfect job. And here's what they look like. I love the two layers. I like the diamond tip. Let's get in here close and see if we can see. Now this is exactly how I got them back. And I haven't, I haven't filed on them at all. I've not done anything to them. <laughs> but they're cool. I don't know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna coat them in. Maybe boiled linseed oil or maybe clear. I haven't decided, but it just works. Works so good. Just the way it's supposed to. And we'll see if it fits. And you know it fits. I wouldn't be showing you on the video if it didn't. And I know these holes don't look like it was straight, but it will be. It will be straight. Uh, right up there. See, the barrel, this, this barrel here has to be in front of the door. That's why these bolt holes on the right-hand side have to be so far back. Uh, I should put a screw in it, but the screws look so puny. I don't know whether it's better to have my hand in there. And that's it. All we have to do is get those things to fit. And they're gonna fit, see, it fits flat, both pieces. Let's see if I can do it this way. Oh, I kind of like that. There it is. Ta-da! I like it. See you next time.